Well, thank you very much, Mark. Okay, so we've got two of the four remaining teams left in the 7A class of the IHSA. When you combine all their records, it's 47-1. and one. The lone loss, the home team today, Willowbrook, on this field all the way back in week one against Providence. But since then, they've outscored their opponents by 130 points. Coincidentally, their head coach, Nick Hildreth, he didn't get off to that great of a start in his journey as head coach. Back in 2011, he was the interim head coach. Guys, they went 0-9, but since then, Nick Hildreth has gone 60 and 26. How do you get there? Some hard work, some talent. Maybe a little bit of heart, too. For Nick Hildreth, it's the heartbeat. That's something that he learned from his head coach in college. It's the motto, his team is adaptive, about keeping the season alive and extending the heartbeat. You have this, this team. We talk about extending the heartbeat. So obviously, along with extending the heartbeat, Willowbrook also needs to use that heartbeat. This place is rocking. The fans have been here since 10 in the morning with a DJ. They are ready to play in the semifinals, and they're ready to get to the state championship. Also, these guys need to stay versatile. Previous playoff victories have come against many different teams with many different offenses, so adjusting has been huge for Willowbrook to continue that is imperative today. And not just defensively, guys. Sam Timelty is just as lethal throwing the ball as he is running with it, so they need to be versatile on offense as well. Head coach Jordan Lynch has also talked about the cold weather, meaning more of a running game. It's not that bad of weather-wise today, but Mount Carmel is a team that will run the ball more than throw it. Home run balls will happen, but if Willowbrook's able to close that line, prevent the run, they can really limit what, Mark Car what Mount Carmel is able to do offensively. We'll have lineups and kickoff coming up soon, all here on our CN100 Game of the Week. And let's go down on the sidelines to Joe Brand. Joe? Jim, Jack, Willowbrook, our light blue and black, but on the back of the head coach and the coach's hats, it says MTC. Coincidentally, not for Mount Carmel, it's for maintain the culture. I'll tell you what, they generated a lot of culture on that touchdown run. And uh, my question for Joe is, what's the over-under on this being about the same temperature for your first home game with Kane County coming up in the spring? <laughs> Probably pretty good, right? Yeah, usually we sell hot chocolate about the price of the weather, so uh, anything above 44 is fantastic. Make sure you catch Joe now with the Kane County Cougars because the Cougars broadcasters have this uh, tendency to go to the big leagues, Dave Wills and Wayne Randazzo, um, betting on Joe being next. Coach, that was quite a buzzkill your team just handed Mount Carmel to end the first half. Why was your team able to bounce back from the momentum killer that they had with their first opening touchdown? Um, I think that's, you know, I think they'll do that. I know your motto is extend the heartbeat. Another motto on the back of the coaches' hats, maintain the culture. Yeah. What type of culture is needed in the second half? I think it's continue to do. Coach, thanks a lot. Best of luck. Thanks. Nick Hildreth and his team trying to fight back in the second half. Guys, back over to you.